What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Wildcast. I am your host, Radoslav. Today, we're going to be talking about something hilarious that had me laughing yesterday or last night when I saw this. So it was this was an article written in the New York Post yesterday, November 2nd, from Tamar Lapin. It's uh, since been reported by many other outlets as well. Jeffrey Epstein's Palm Beach mansion will be demolished. I'm sure many of the, the victims of Jeffrey Epstein will be very happy to hear this, and <laughs> and I was too. So the Florida mansion where Jeffrey Epstein committed his crimes will be demolished by a local real estate developer. The developer, Todd Michael Glazer, told the Wall Street Journal that he's signed a contract with the Epstein estate to buy the dead um, financiers waterfront Palm Beach property, which went on market for $21.995 million in July. The deal is set to close next month, after which Glazer said he plans to raise the property and replace it with a new home. Quote, Palm Beach is going to be very happy that it's gone, he told the journal. Glazer wouldn't tell the newspaper how much he and his partners paid for the late financier's property, but he said they received a discount. Oh, really? <laughs> this is like a fire sale because it's like, you know, property pr prices go down when there's like a death or a murder um, in a house. And this is a similar situation. This is not a house that people are, um, you know, clamoring to buy, even though it's actually in a wealthy area. And some of these uh, vile capitalists would uh, would no doubt um, have uh, no problem living here. But the media, uh, you know, optics is not going to be very good. That's the only reason they're not going to buy this house, because all of them, these rich guys who, and girls who used to come to his house, they all wanted this house, too. That's the thing about greed. Um, you know, women being abused is not going to deter them from their uh, materialistic um, goals. But anyways, um, nobody wants it. The property pr price has gone down because of the bad press that Jeffrey Epstein got. That's the only reason, mind you, that the, that the price, is, price went down. Another person close to the deal told the journal the price was close to $18 million. $21.995 was the market price that they claimed back in July. 18 million is a significant reduction from that. The uh, sprawling estate includes a main house with six uh, bedrooms, a three bedroom staff house, and a pool house. In July, the front gate was vandalized with the words gone but not forgiven. <laughs> I love that. Written in blood paint. It's just red paint. Relax. Epstein has long been accused of luring underage girls to the mansion. Yes, we all know his crimes. He was locked up and um, he committed suicide in August 2019. Epstein's Man uh, Manhattan townhouse is still on the market with an asking price of $88 million. Well, good luck finding that finding a buyer there. OK, this is where Courtney Wilde was abused and, as well as many other girls. But Courtney, Courtney Wilde is, you know, somebody I know a lot about. And um, and this place being demolished seems so right. And that's that's why I had an instinctive, positive reaction to reading this, uh, reading the headline that Jeffrey Epstein's Florida house will be demolished because it, it feels like. It's the right thing that should happen, even though, you know, it's just a house. It's just a bunch of cement and and a whole bunch of, um, you know, metal and, and plastic and whatever else goes into building this house. Um, but nevertheless, it the house itself is not the thing. It just it's what it represents. It, it represents part of his abuse where it took place where it took place and that's why i had an immediate positive reaction to this and i'm guessing a lot of people did uh when they heard about this but yeah this is a quick story i want to bring to you guys so that is all i gotta say for this video guys as always if you want to support my work you can check out my patreon right here and you can also join channel memberships down below with that being said i'll see you guys in my next video as always peace Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch and consider some of the ideas I present in my videos. If you appreciate my evidence-based, non-partisan approach to reporting legal and political news, please consider supporting me on Patreon. My long-term goal on this channel is to get to a point where I can do news analysis full-time. Grassroots funding is the best way for independent news reporters to remain uncorrupted by corporate influences. Even if you can only afford $1 a month, those dollars add up in the aggregate, and it will be much appreciated by me. 
With that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. As always, peace.